Sumo wrestling is a sport with a proud tradition, a discipline which is highly regarded in its native Japan. If you're a sumo wrestler, you act with honour and with dignity outside of the ring, and you'd be treated like the biggest celebrities by the public. It has principles. Principles which Matsutaro, the lead of rowdy sumo wrestler Matsutaro, is keen to shake up and throw to the curb. This is a simple story of a very unruly and unkempt ruffian named Matsutaro, who has grown up in a small town during the Showa period of Japan, most likely in the 70s or 80s judging by the surroundings. He is still in middle school with kids a fraction of his age and is a no hope on first glance. He's the eldest of six siblings and proves to be the world's worst brother and indeed a candidate for least likeable person in the world. The story has a schoolyard crush in the form of Minami-sensei, the only reason Matsutaro even shows up to school, to please her. He does a good job at that, getting thrown into jail for kidnapping her, a truck, and driving it into a public bath. Instead of drawing Minami closer to him, it riddles her with guilt, and she moves back to Tokyo. Distraught, Matsutaro tries to find a job and bumps into some sumo wrestlers and gets into a fight. Well, that's what he does. In the end, he ends up impressing sumo wrestling managers and gets enlisted, just so he can be close to Minami. That's the story in a nutshell. You know where it's gonna go. He'll become a pro wrestler to impress his crush. Cut and dry prognosis, yeah? No. This anime is dated. Really dated. You can forgive it since the original manga became publication in 1973 and ran for a good 20 years. It's a popular manga given such a long run, and that would explain the 70s aesthetic and rural setting. The retro feel is present right from the opening credits and the warbling baritone of Matsutaro serenading the audience is reminiscent of classic anime intros. It's a nice throwback, but it doesn't hide from us that there are problems with this show. Major problems. First off, Matsutaro is really unlikable. The first episode is devoted in proving to the audience that he's a real jerk to everyone around him and is a no-hoper. I can understand why this would make people switch off and label him and this series a lost cause. I get what the creative team behind this were doing. It's a long-term plan to illustrate the sheer transformation that Matsutaro will make by the series' end. Going from a beast to a sporting hero is a potentially compelling narrative, and the amount of character development in said narrative would be through the roof, if people are still watching, of course. The majority of the initial audience will have gone elsewhere long beforehand. It doesn't help that the show looks poor too. In the first two episodes, rowdy sumo wrestler Matsutaro looks very loose and lazy, but it's a characterful style which has some personality, which is rare in anime these days. It reflects the 70s anime feel well, and fans of that thing will appreciate it, but it does mean that refinement is sacrificed. There are many times when extras and props look hideous with no effort put into them, and this gets worse with episode 3. From episode 2 to 3, there is a monumental decrease in animation quality, and my hopes for the show quickly waned. The artwork for the characters is looser than untied shoelaces! I was stunned with how bad it was, especially when you see that this wasn't made by an amateur outfit. This is made by Toei. Toei! One of the biggest studios in the anime business. How could this be? Simple. Budget, restraints on resources, and low priorities. Toei has tons of enormous properties to take care of, like Dragon Ball Kai, One Piece, and up until recently, Toriko, to name a few. The company's bottom line is built on these huge properties, and some more obscure properties can feel like they've been pushed to the periphery by Toei. You would think that Toei would have the expertise to make Matsutara's tale look good, or at least competent. Sadly not. It's a real shame because there was real potential hidden here. Matsutaro is kind of like Wreck-It Ralph from the film of the same name, in that he's a strong and angry soul with little social grace, but has a heart hidden amongst the muscle. The similarities are noticeable, but I feel like unlike Ralph, Matsutaro will remain a relative savage. This series needed to tone down the unlikable first episode a lot. It failed as an opening act to draw viewers. It's repelled them. Do I hate rowdy sumo wrestler Matsutaro? No. I'm disappointed. I wanted to like it, but I just couldn't get behind it. Its shoddy narrative structure and equally dire animation quality failed to catch in my dedication, but I still think there's a glimmer of hope if Toei can get their act together and put more effort into production. I like the 70s throwback vibe though. That was cool, but that's a fleeting plus point, which is quickly eroded through repetition. I'm sad that this show is going to be either forgotten or find itself as a candidate for one of the worst anime of this season, certainly one of the most disappointing. Rowdy Sumo Wrestler Matsutaro is available to stream on Crunchyroll. My rating? Cancel. It's with regret that I cannot recommend this series. It's just too flawed. If you like what you heard, please visit my Patreon campaign to help grow Anaphile at patreon.com forward slash X.